going on everybody ricky bobby today's a special day bam so i've been humming and hawing for the last probably nine months i used to have a fluvel 13.5 over here on the bar and i had a bunch of scratches and i was kind of worn out and i just kind of was bored of it and it wasn't i wasn't able to do certain things that i wanted to do with it so blue friday came with water box last Friday. And I mean, I was only, I don't know, I think the tank was 50 bucks off. No other deal on anything else. Anyway, you know what? I just was kind of had a couple beers. I was home sick for the week and I had not much going on. And I checked out Blue Friday on their website. I'm like, hey, cube 20s in stock. Nice. So I pushed the button and believe it or not, two days later, like two days, I waited I waited over two months for this tank to show up. That was that was a, a that was crazy. This thing was here in two days, so pretty excited. This is actually for my daughter. My she's almost six years old now, and so what we're gonna do? Well, it's gonna be a surprise. We'll kind of show you in the video what we're gonna do, how we're gonna cycle it, and then what we're gonna put in this this bad boy. So I got some carob sea aragonite uh, live sand shipped here on amazon believe it or not amazon sells live sand which is great and uh, i didn't really, i didn't really want to drive to my lfs to get it it was the same price and then of course with this package i bought from Waterbox, another ai prime oops sorry guys there it is another ai prime it's black and a flex mount so that'll make four ai primes in the house they work great and uh, they're easy to program. I really like them for what we're doing and it'll work great. So stay tuned. All right, day two, and this is perfect. So I added the carob seed live sand, 20 pounds. Seems to be just perfect, which is great. Uh, I am using the stock return pump for now because I'm not sure how much power I'm gonna need at the moment. Um, so what happened was the water I have in my saltwater mixing station is cold or room temperature. So to heat it up quick, I have my regular 50 watt Eheim in the back, which actually is probably not enough. I never thought of that. I probably need 75 or 100 watt. I'm gonna have to look into that. And then I have my 150 watt Eheim in here just for the next hour or two. And it's just helping to warm the water up. So I ended up picking up three small pieces of live rock for my LFS today. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep them, uh, but going forward at the moment for the cycling and bacteria and all that, it'll work just fine. I also bought my daughter a polka dot hermit crab who is in there. Um, also, I'm a firm believer in this stuff right here, Fritzyme 9, bottle bacteria, very similar to Dr. Tim's. And using that, I've never seen ammonia. So life sand with that and one hermit crab and I'll let him pick off dead stuff off the live rock and chill out for now. And we will uh, cycle this tank. Also, the light that came with it, or sorry, the flex mount that came with it, has a very thick mount. And I, I hate these mounts, they're too thick. So as you can see, I put the aquarium very close to the wall. I've already done my measurements. What I'm gonna do, is I have two flex mounts in this tank and the aluminum, the other uh, solid mount for the AI Prime 16. So I'm going to take this light because, see how thin that is? Look at that. That's gonna fit perfect in the back of here. So I'm gonna take this light and that stand right out, put it on my daughter's tank, and then this guy will match the other two with the brand new light. So everything will match and that will look great. So this is day two, and I will do another update, show you guys what's going on when she's all clear and the light's all going. All right, so believe it or not, it's been six days now, and the tank is doing well. Now, the return pump has a buzzing noise to it. I haven't taken it out yet, but it's brand new and there's nothing in this tank. So it's got a weird vibration, no matter where I move it, it makes noise. So I gotta address that. What do you want? They're cheap. Maybe I'll buy a seat chain, put that in there. But flow-wise, 
it, the flow is actually good for what I'm looking for right now. I'm happy with that. You can see I bought this Gorgonian. It has a nice gentle wave to it, which is nice. And there is Maribel. Hi, Maribel. Just a little baby sand sifting goby. And first fish in the tank, and there's a reason why. Because they are so good at turning substrate over, moving things. And there's a sp another specific reason why this fish is in here. We'll get to that later. I grabbed one of my recordia mushrooms from my big tank, put it in there. And I've got another frag of Gorgonia. Stupid. Paid $20 for that little frag of Gorgonia at one lo local fish store. Then I went to the coral reef shop and got this whole thing for 60 bucks. So I'm definitely looking for more Gorgonians. And you have to ask yourself, well, why am I doing Gorgonians in this tank? Well, see if you guys can guess uh, what eventually is going to be going in here. So uh, I'm also running the UV. It takes nice and clear now. So between the live sand and then dosing with um, Fritzheim 9 bacteria, um, in five days, my nitrates are 1.9 ppm. Nitrite, zero ammonia, zero. So these live sands and these live bacteria are absolutely fantastic. Um, I was ghost feeding the tank a little bit at the beginning and Mirabelle's been in here for two days and doing awesome, having a great uh, great time. And so everything is really doing really well. So just except for that return pump noise. AI Prime is set and synced with those ones. So they're all on the Saxby schedule and they're all connected together, which means this tank does everything this tank does at every second of the day, which is great. They both shut off and turn on at the same time. So I'm wondering, can you guys guess what's going in this tank eventually once we uh, get it a little more established? But yeah, I love this cube, Waterbox Cube 20. Fits perfect on this bar, which is the reason why I bought it, because of the dimensions. Look at that. Not an inch to spare. There's the bracket I was showing you guys. Look at that. See how well, how nice that bracket sits? Way more slim than those brackets. But yeah, Cube 20, loving it. Love water box tanks, looking good. And uh, I might as well end this video and then we'll do another video when we put the other fish in. So anyway, this has been the startup of my water box Cube 20, running green killing machine, at UV in it. So far the, the stock sock, however the Kraken Reef 3D printed cup, which I run in this tank in the 65.4. It will be here tomorrow, so I'm converting over to floss. And I have the 100 watt Eheim Jaeger heater in here now. Sits so like that, so it's perfect, good coverage. And uh, everything is going really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know in the comments below if you have an idea why I built this tank and what the real main attraction fish are gonna be in this tank. Talk to you soon.